toothbrush. Yes, 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 ah, so I'll need the. Oh, oh, I won't need it. Yes, 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 passports. Passport. A jolly good idea, Charlie Ball. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Wait a minute, dancing shoes. Where's me dancing shoes? Charlie, I've packed two pairs of shoes, one for dancing, one for promenade. That'd be enough, won't it? Max, you both got Macintoshes. I need a Macintosh in Paris. Oh, that's gonna be wet. What, Paris? Mm -hmm. But don't worry, Pop, it need not affect your enjoyment one iota. Remember, Chesterton, I don't care where the water goes as long as it doesn't go into the wine. It's a blooming lootly, Charlie boy. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at I've packed this one. Where's your mother? Ma! Oh, Ma, this is lovely. Did you buy this specially? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have such a lovely weekend. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> of course you are. Ma! 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 Look, the aeroplane, it won't wait, you know. What are you doing? Come on. Put all the cases in the back there, Charlie boy. Right. Oh, Mariette, you look after that mare. I will, Pop. Good, that's it. Now then. Oh, I haven't fed the chickens. Don't worry, we'll do it. Everything will be safe in our hands. Trust us. All right, all right. Now, don't forget, you look after the kids. Watch Paul. them running about. Yes, all right, all right. Where's your mother, then? Hey, Ma, come on! Attention, all shipping. Attention all shipping. Here is a gale warning issued by the Meteorological Office at 1400 hours GMT for today, Friday. Come on, Marsh. Come on, Marsh. Oh, time and tide. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. Good girl. You do everything that Charlie tells you. We oh. Come on, Marsh. Oh. Come on, Marsh. Come on, Marsh. Come on, Marsh. Come on, Marsh. Have a wonderful time. Just the two of them in the capital of romance. Wish it was us, Charlie. It will be one day. Meanwhile, we've got our hands full here, oh. haven't we? All right, Delilah. Not long now, my darling. Don't say that. A couple of weeks, I'd say. Victoria! She's all right, Charlie. Oh. You know, children. You won't panic, will you? Mr. and Mrs. Wanstead. Oh, uh, well, Vicky, you will win uh, that. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Well, yes, Ma and Cedar Crimson. Oh, no. How do you do? 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 Gary Lubbock. Hello. 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 Exciting, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I should say so. <laughs> Butterflies. Hello, me too. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, we haven't. No, 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 this. This is our honeymoon. Oh, well oh. done. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, it's a sort of honeymoon for Ma and me. Yeah, well, that's yeah. how we feel. You know, Ma and me, we all think it's good to have honeymoon every so often. Every so often. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is the way to do it, isn't it? Better than jelly deals behind a windbreak. <laughs> <laughs> and flying and all. Oh, don't. Oh. She's all right now, she's a bit nervous, but she's fine, she's fine. I can't. I'm sorry. I know I'm not going to be able to make it. Just pull yourself together. A few nerves on the loose there. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cynthia, and I'm looking after you this weekend on behalf of Romance Weekly. And it's my very pleasant duty to tell you that we can't go just yet. Vic. <laughs> Third time in as many minutes. I think it's my nerves. Oh, don't be nervous. 
Why did you be nervous about her? Of course, they don't know how to do breakfast there. No. They give you this puffy bit of bread. Croissants, this is what they call croissants and cafe. Well, I mean to say, how can you start the day on a piece of thin air wrapped in flaky pastry? Oh, I said, no, come on, let's have a proper English breakfast. You know, where is it? Where's the eggs, the sausage, the bacon, the tomatoes and the fried bread? Hey? Eh? Well, of course he didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't mean to say that they don't know how to eat. No, 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 no. Of course, they got some nice stuff there. They got a thing called langoustine. Now, langoustine, well, that's like a baby lobster, really. Yeah, that, that's, that's very nice, that. But I tell you what they have got, which is really, really very good, and that is the oysters. Yes, the oysters, of course, they're good for the... Uh... <clears throat> you, well, you know, it's, it's, it's um... an aphrodisiac. Yes, they got them and all. Oh, yes, yes, no, I was talking about oysters. Yeah, they're, of course, they're good for the... Uh... Good for honeymoon couples and the young at heart, like Ma and me. <laughs> we can't wait. Oh, you'll love it. <laughs> They'll love it, won't they, Ma? What's that? Well, Paris. Oh, yeah, well, we, we love France. <laughs> yeah, well, well, Paris, France, they yeah, think. Not just because of La Amour <laughs> <laughs> and La Manger, but they've got a place there called Cognac. Now, any country that can name a town after a drink can't be all bad. That's what I reckon, anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Miss McCracken. Now, please, call me Cynthia. And it's my very pleasant duty to... Um, there seems there is the possibility of a slight delay. A delay? Oh, yeah, well, we'll sort of delay. Are you aware that we're already late? The plane's not here. It seems it can't get across the channel. What? The weather, or, or, or something. I've just got a message. Oh. Oh, come on, come on, sit up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. You all right? So what's the matter with the plane? Oh, nothing, nothing. The plane's fine. We can go, can't we? Oh, of course, it, it's only the weather. Weather? What do you mean, weather? Nothing wrong with the weather. Peter? No. <laughs> you did, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Oh, yeah. Well, Ma, Ma was right. Oh, yeah. Had a right in 20 words or less why you thought you deserved to spend a weekend in the most romantic city in the world. Yeah, right. 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 I only needed two. Blooming, exhausting. Oh, no. No, no. no. I did, I did. Yeah. Yeah. And she wasn't all. Yeah, well, uh, seven children. Oh, forget what all this romance life's all about. No, really, well, I'll have to remind you, won't oh, I, my dear? Oh, thank you. Right you are then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Plane's ready. No. No, but a bus has now arrived. A bus? A bus? You mean, we'll be going by bus? Not all the way to Paris. Don't be ridiculous. We are going to Paris. Of, of course you're going, but I'm afraid it seems there's no possibility of flying out of here tonight. Oh, oh no. Please, please, rest assured, you will be in Paris first thing in the morning. Uh, can I now introduce you to George, our driver, who will take care of our every need? Where do you intend to take us now, then? In your bus? To the very best hotel in the area. Five courses, Ma. It's good. Yeah, five courses is good. Good idea having a fish course. Oh, yeah. 
It saves you having to choose. Yeah, 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 you're right. I mean, no one should have to choose between meat and fish, should they? Come on. Look at those two on the dance floor. Don't they remind you of you and me when we was... Uh... You think they're not married, are you? Hmm? No, no. I don't mean that. I mean, don't they remind you of when you and me was, you know? Yeah, see what you mean? Hey, How are you doing? It's not bad, this place, is it? No. <laughs> it's a nice couple. Um, is everything all right? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course it is. Relax, Cynthia. Of course it's all right. <clears throat> Well, we're looking on this is a... Well, it's a bit of a bonus, isn't it? Miss McCracken. Uh, excuse me. Tinned peas. Sorry, Mr. Lang. The best hotel in the area, you say, and they serve tinned peas. You won't get nothing fresher than tin, not this time of year. <laughs> Miserable blighter. <laughs> Done it. Done what? Survived. Charlie, it's only Friday night. Yes, I know. It's having responsibility, you see, for the family. Charlie. Only you've been brought up with brothers and sisters of your own. They needn't be hard work, you know. Relax. Mm. Phoned home, Sid. Mm. As far as they're concerned, we're in Paris. And as far as I'm concerned, metaphysically, as Charlie would say, we are in Paris. <laughs> Take some getting used to, though, eh? Hey? Mm. Well, I'm going to have to help you, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you give me a hand, please? Oscar, don't do that. Primrose. Oh, dear. I swear those ducks were laughing at me. Oh, it just goes on and on and on. Thank you. I've never known rain like this in my life. <laughs> Bob and Ma don't know how lucky they are, do they? It's the only place in England where you can see these wild animals roaming free. Oh, oh, look, look, there's a wallaby. Oh, yeah. This is a wallaby. Where? Where? Could be a deer. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. oh, missed it. Yeah. All right, cheer up. We'll get there. We'll get to Paris. When? Exactly. Well, I mean, they could have kept us in the airport. I... I think it was very good of them to lay on trips like this. Yeah, it's good a sort of bonus. Yeah. I don't want any more bonuses. I want Paris. So say all of us. Oh, and to your left. Yeah. Uh, to your left, you will see the greatest hoodoo. African spiral horn. 
Come on, I know it's raining cats and dogs, but we don't need floats, not... <coughs> float, when you say float, you mean like a cash float? Yeah. You know you're talking my language, my girl. How much you got? Mm, not enough to keep certain people happy. I need the key to the Bank of England to keep certain people happy. Come on, that. How much you got in here? Let's have a... Pull over, will you, George, when you can find a space? Thank you. Right. It's the common looking man again. Excuse me. Whoa. Don't trust that man an inch. Miss McCracken, excuse me, what is happening? All right, all right, excuse me, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, George. <clears throat> we'll have your attention, please, just for a minute. Now, when we started out on this trip yesterday, I promised Ma a weekend fit for a queen. And come rain or shine, a weekend, fit for a week, she shall have. Yay! Now look, we're not going to let a little bit of weather stop us having a good time, are we? No! No, that's the spirit. But this is a weekend for winners. What is it? A weekend for winners! That's the spirit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now then, listen to me. I want you all to cheer up and just trust in me, Sydney Larkin, and I promise you, a weekend of winners, you shall have. Time we'll try a different number. Um, Mr. Larkin, the bag's nearly empty. Cynthia, let money be thy servant, otherwise it will be thy master. It's out there working for us, isn't it? Here we are. There's much, there's money, it'd be more appropriate. What do you say, old chap? The place. He meant the place. I know what he meant. Here you are. Go and put that on any trap number. She's never gambled in her life. She married you, didn't she? Come on, I'll show you how to do it. Come on, everyone. Come on. When Ma and Papa are away, the rain that falls on Ma, I'd like to think the same rain falls on me. The clouds that pass overhead have passed over Papa and me. And when the sun comes out, it shines on us all, wherever we may be. Very good, Victoria. That's delightful. That's really lovely. Do I get a prize? Oh. Uh huh. The winner of the Home Farm Poetry Prize. <laughs> right. Hey. Uh, what? What's that? I told you to stay inside. I told you. The telegraph pole. to win. Every last penny? Every last penny. Oh. Right, where is everybody? Our team, right, here we are now then. I'll tell you what we've done. We're all on Humdinger, Ooh. right? And he's 33 to 1. Oh. Here we go, he's coming in.
was a bit of luck, see? What do you mean, luck? <clears throat> Ah, well? Well, good news, Mr Larkin. The storms are passing. Ah, and? And, more good news, the planes are now able to leave Paris. Oh, good. Then we ought to toot sweet it back to the airport. Yeah. Um, right? uh, well, we can go now, can we? Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's no rush. Cynthia, what do you mean that there's no rush? Huh? Come on, you can tell me. I can't. Yes, you can. Come on. Well, I'm not telling him. All right, all right. Well, look, just tell me. Tomorrow morning. They're now saying tomorrow morning at the earliest. The airport's hopelessly congested. Tomorrow morning? Well, we come back tomorrow. Yeah. That's right. I have to put it to you all that you can stay an extra night and come back on Monday. Oh. God. Well, what about tonight? Exactly. This is not fair. I, 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 I've resigned. I've resigned. That's it. I've had enough. Now, calm down. No, listen, hey, shh, shh, shh. Calm down. No. Calm, calm down. Calm down. Do you know what they want me to do now? No. Find another hotel. Cheaper. It must be cheaper. Old Lime Juice wasn't happy with four stars last night. No, I know, but we were. The rest of us were. Oh, it's not fair. I got this job because I speak French. I got this job because I know Paris. I know Paris backwards. I don't know blimmin' barks yet. No. I, I don't even know where we are. Sh Cynthia, I mean, Cynthia, to... Cynthia, you must calm down. What's happening, please? Now, look, we made a few bob on the dogs, didn't we? Well, maybe we can find a place. <clears throat> look, Mark, take Cynthia into the coach, find out how many people want to stay till Monday. Can you we... leave the hotel to me. Excuse us. Well, get in. It takes more than stars to make a hotel. It takes a good deal to make a hotel. Mr. Larkin. Yes. Say you can't find anywhere. What? Say you can't find anywhere. Then we can call it a day. Call it a day? But Mrs. Line, Caroline, what's the matter with you? Don't you want to go to Paris? Paris is the enchanted city, the capital of romance. Romance? Amongst treglyphs and trefoils. Beg your pardon? All he wants to do is look at churches. That's the extent of his passion. Romance? With that, that gargoyle. <clears throat> well, look, uh, forgive me for asking this, but if that's the way that it is, how come that you two won this competition? Oh, we didn't. Huh? It was his brother, Paul. Same initial, you see. Well, the poor man slipped a disc, so Peter thought, there's a chance of a free trip. Typical, don't you think? Oh, I see. So... Here we are. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe this is the chance to let Paris work its magic. To rekindle that lost love. Maybe there's one more moment in a choir storm. A long, lingering caress in a crypt. Yes. No, wait, no, not with me, no. No, I meant with your husband. With, with your husband. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm embarrassing. No, 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 that's all right, Caroline. It's all right. No, no, don't get upset. Easy mistake to make. <laughs> <laughs> Delilah! Delilah! Taking us to now, then. Take back to the dogs and suit me. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. 
A French restaurant. Ooh. No, but warmer. Where, Sydney? I'm not telling you. Oh, Isn't it a tease? <laughs> Another mystery tour. <laughs> I'm past caring. <laughs> All right, Caroline. Sad, isn't it, Mari? People can live together for years and years and yet drift so far apart. It's beyond conceiving, if you ask me. Beyond oh. conceiving. You're having a good time, aren't you, my old duck? I'm having a snatching time. Good. <laughs> and where are we going now? I thought if we can't get to Paris, I'll get Paris to come to us. <laughs> Chateau Brest. Oh, Mr. Lord. Chateau Brest. Certainly not overbooked, anyway. Wow, it's it certainly is. Hello. Well, that's loud enough to wake the dead. <laughs> Sorry, I, <clears throat> I phoned earlier. <clears throat> Romance Weekly. I phoned earlier about rooms for tonight. Rooms? Rooms? Uh, rooms. Room. Yes, we have rooms. Oh, yeah, we've got rooms. We've got 12 rooms, 11 with ceiling. You're the Paris party. We have lots of people from Paris. <laughs> no, we're going to Paris. April, go in April. Come along, Tommy. Tonight's menu, Tommy. Menu? Excuse me one moment. No. No, I'm sorry, but there are limits. We cannot stay here. Never mind, Mr. Larkin. You tried. I opened the telephone directory and there it was, staring at me. Chateau Brest. I thought, well, this is fate. This is meant to be. Meant to be what? That's the question. Oi! He tried. So did Icarus. OK, driver, shall we move on? Wait! If you don't mind, I'd like to look round. So would I. Come on, say. Oh, look at that lovely candelabra. <laughs> Who's Icarus? C'est magnifique! <laughs> Extraordinaire! since these were last used. Mm. We could soon change that, though, could we? <laughs> oh, Peter, look! Oh, my lord. <laughs> Sheets as slept in by Elizabeth I. <laughs>
Come on. What is this? Oh, look at that. 48. Mm, no, that was a good year. <clears throat> All things considered, I uh, wouldn't mind staying here, Sydney. All things considered, I wouldn't mind living here, Gravel. <laughs> Delilah! seen a course once upon a time. Oh yeah. I bet it was. Oh, I like that. Good. <laughs> Cheers. I think I'm getting the measure of this place, Greville. Yeah, I think you are, Sydney. <sighs> One coachman's throttle coming up. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, could I just have your attention, just for a minute, please? It seems to me we've got one or two choices. We can either move on to some unknown destination, downhearted and miserable... Or we could just call it a day and go home. Now, what I was going to say, or we could just stay here and all pull together. Just one thing. Don't let her cook for you. Mrs. Potts. That's what killed her husband, I reckon. Her cooking. Oh, right, well... <clears throat> well, if the management was agreeable, I reckon I could get Ma to rustle something up. I wouldn't mind betting that's where she is even now, you know, in the kitchen. If I know... Catch it, that's our dinner! Oh, well done, Ma. Only said pate and he was off. <laughs> See, told you she'd sort it all out. Tommy, would you mind informing me what's going on here? I don't know. If I was you, I'd have one of these. We well, decided we'd like to stay, Mom. I'm sure you would. Dukes and princes, lords and ladies, stars of screen and stage have all wanted to stay here. However... We'll pay cash. Sign them in, Tommy. No, Ria de Rian. We met in Montmartre in 1937. Jerry had just finished art school and I was trying to be a starving poet. She had money, so I was totally compromised by the woman. Have been ever since. And now you want to go back? Time to go back. <laughs> that was our winning slogan. Oh. Recapture the moment. That chance encounter that can change a life. Mm. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Mrs. Potts suggested, you know, to make the evening something special, that uh, we could have a cabaret. Oh, how jolly! And everyone could do something French. <gasps> Woo! <Ooh, la, la. laughs> what a good idea! Yeah, I think Polly's got the answer with you, la la, we can all do Miss McGrath. 
What am I to do with him? I want to know what I'd do with him. <laughs> I'm afraid the time has come when I really must speak to your superiors. Miss McCracker. It's Saturday evening, Mr. Lyme. I don't care if it's the last Sunday in Lent. Get on the phone and get me someone in authority now. Oh, my dear, a windsock. So far from the airport, too. Windsock. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, my dear, come and have a drink. you found her. Pop would have been devastated if anything had happened to her. I think the shock has brought it on, Charlie. What? She could drop at any time. She could what? She's in labour. It could happen any moment. I'll stay with her tonight, Charlie. Oh, all night? It could happen any time. And it is a first foe. Oh, Delilah. You did give us a fright, you know. You certainly did. And they picked a fine weekend to leave the country, didn't they? Who, oh, Papa Ma? Hmm. Oh, I wonder what they're doing right now. <laughs> about your Caroline then. <laughs> Sorry? I think that your wife is a wonderful woman. Look, I've had enough of you. First you try and ruin my weekend, and now you want to ruin my wife. Oh, Peter, what? I've seen you and her. She's a very impressionable woman. Well, one more word out of you, soldier. Well, you just sit down. Now, just sit down there and let me tell you something. I don't want your if you don't start wanting your wife a little more, I'm going to be forced to divulge to the whole party the devious means that you use to inveigle yourself onto this excursion. Do you understand my meaning? Oh, oh, oh Caroline! Caroline! Caroline. You were one. You were absolutely oh, no. one. You were. Even Peter was saying how wonderful you were in the can can. Really? Yeah, didn't you, Peter? Mm. Oh, I'll tell you something else, he said. I know I shouldn't say it. But he said, he said how much he adored you. And he adored you more with each passing year. He said that, didn't you, Peter? Mm. And I'll tell you something else. He said, no, I'm sorry, Peter. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to tell her. I promised I wouldn't, but I will. <laughs> when he was watching you dancing out there, he said, look at that. Isn't she a beautiful woman? Look at that beautiful swan-like neck. Her dark, passionate eyes. The fire that never dies. It's more like it, old man. Oh, look at all this, Mark. I mean... 
If this isn't Paris, I'm a dead man. Well, it... Well, it... This must be Paris. <laughs> Good night, George. Good night, Mr. Larkin. All right, Cynthia. Night, Mr. Larkin. Hmm? Bonsoir. Bonjour. Bonjour, ladies. Who are we supposed to be called? I oh, know, I can't remember. Oh, Greville. Oh, Mr. Larkin. Oh, it's Larkin. You can call me Sid, 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 Sid. Call me Pop. I can't remember who we are. Shh. We are Mr. and Mrs. Wanstead. Wanstead? Not Banstead? Banstead. Barking. 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 <laughs> Madden. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Barking. Barking. Mm. 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 Thank you. <laughs> for bringing us together. Bonne nuit, monsieur. Oh. Oh. Dormez bien. Steady on, old chap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I like all that intense cordial myself. Good night, Cynthia. Good night, Mr. Larkin. Good night, George. Mr. Larkin. Oh. oh. Alarm. Oh. She needed help with the shoulders, quick! It was never like this in the tax office. And that's for the port. Do appreciate a fine port. And, uh, here, I'll have for you, old boy. Rooney! Pull him up! What's for breakfast? Oh, oh. oh, what do you fancy? Air the dog, old man? Uh, well, I do. Here you are, Mark. Morning, George. Morning, Mrs. Larkin. Good night, George. Good night, Cynthia. Yeah. Now, come on, old woman, miss that pain. Yeah, George. <laughs> Get that down, young. Good on you, Mr. Larkin. I'll put some lead back in your bed. <laughs> oh, no thanks. He doesn't need that. Come along, everyone, please. Just come to say goodbye, Mrs. Potts. Oh, we showed him a good time, didn't we, Mr. Larkin? Oh, it was just like the old days. Yeah, just like the old days. He was a clever girl, then. It's a miracle. Wait till Mum and Pop see this. You'd be surprised, wouldn't they? Oh, 
found out what's wrong with it, yet, George, or what? Well, I fall asleep under there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know why you sit in the main room. Where the blazes are we? Queen's a park, isn't it? The shortcut, wasn't it, George? <laughs> oh, well, say la vie. I don't think none of us care anymore. Yeah, it was a good weekend. Yeah, we did. Look. We had a good laugh anyway, didn't we? I'm sorry, fellas. I'm afraid I have to stay in a broken drive shaft. Never mind. Drive shaft? What's that mean? Well, what it means is we ain't going to leave here in a hurry. Oh. oh not a pub in sight, eh? <laughs> oh, hey, Mark, Mark. Oh, who's that there? Look. Who's that there, there? It's the Queen! It's not, Pop, it's not. Isn't it the Queen? It is! It's the Blooming it's Queen, look! It is! Isn't that, um... Isn't that, uh, to, what's his name? De, de Gaulle? No, no, it can't be. General De Gaulle is over here, oh. on a state visit. Is it? Oh. My legs are gone. I can get... Yeah. Oh, take your right off. Oh, yeah, right. The Queen! <laughs> he must have popped over to visit him. No, he, he popped over to visit us, didn't he? <laughs> If Mahomet can't go to the mountain, well... <laughs> uh, excuse me. Shh. Oh, they can help us. They can help us. Can they get to the airport? Shh. Is there an no autograph? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, that is it. I, mean, I have seen her now. Oh, nothing could better that. <laughs> oh, I want to go home now. I want to tell the kids. Goodbye then. Bye. Thank you both for making it such a smashing weekend. No, that's all right. <laughs> you make oh me laugh. Oh, go on, get on with you. <laughs> Perfect weekend, I'd say, Sydney. <laughs> Indeed. Couldn't put it better myself, old boy. Good luck to both of you. Yeah. Well, now you go on your way back to Wanstead. <laughs> oh, barking! Oh, barking, is it? <laughs> it's, um, it's Forest Gate, actually. Oh, oh God! God. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye bye! Bye! Oh, Caroline, Beat. I shall be writing to someone very high up indeed within the organisation. And he'll be making it clear, on behalf of us all, that you did everything you could to make this weekend a success. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Well, of course. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 And if they want to try and send us across the water at some time in the future, well, that'll be fine by us, will it, Mark? Yeah. Bye bye now, bless you. Bye bye. Well, cheerio, George. Yeah, bye, George. <laughs> Sorry about your drive shaft. <laughs> I gave her a run for her money, Mr. Larkin. <laughs> What did I say? What did I say? I'm just having a laugh and a joke with the man. I just said to you, I'm talking about the bus. Oh, they'll be married in no time, Mark. My I word. <laughs> I think you're right, Mark. Come on, home. I'm jealous of a bus. I'm not jealous of a bus. I'm just. Oh, look at that! Well, you know, Sid, when you see it close to this flying business, is quite unnatural. <clears throat> I'll stick to what's natural any day, Mom. Oh, look out! <laughs> Watch out for your drive shaft, mate. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> It's a funny smell, where are we? Oh. Wait a minute. All right, all right. When can we open our eyes? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Open our eyes after three. Oh, three then. One, two, three. Three. Got a lot. Good luck. Ma, how long have we been away, Ma? <laughs> two <laughs> days, exactly. This wasn't you for two weeks. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to cry. Yeah, but I know, but I mean, it's, it wasn't you. Oh, 
You can thank the weather for that, Pop. The weather? The storms. We can thank the storms for quite a few things this weekend, can't we, Pop? <laughs> Certainly can, Ma. And Charlie thought that, well, we could call in Paris. Charlie. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's to Paris. Mm. To Paris. Paris. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>